Hi, my name is Dr. Matt Hamonka. I'm an emergency medicine physician at Maine Medical Center. And I'm here with Dr. Matt Kerr and Dr. John Miller, both emergency medicine residents here in Portland, Maine. Now today we're going to be going over cervical spine clearance of a patient in the wilderness. We're going to be using a specific criteria called the Nexus Criteria. Now John's going to be acting as our patient and Matt's going to be acting as our single uh, rescuer. Now, <clears throat> Nexus criteria, as I said, is a specific list of criteria that's been validated in many studies and is used to clear a patient's spine. It's now commonly used in EMS and it's also taught in wilderness medicine courses. Basically, what it is, is it's a list of questions and a brief list of physical exam findings that you could use to determine if the patient's cervical spine is clear and it does not require stabilization. Uh, or any difficult transport. Now this is really important in the wilderness because it's difficult to improvise spinal stabilization and it's also much more difficult to transport a patient out when you're concerned about protecting their spine. So Matt's going to go through the Nexus criteria for us. And I'm going to list them briefly prior to him beginning. So to make sure that the patient's cervical spine is clear according to the Nexus criteria, you need to make sure that they're not altered and by that I mean altered whether or not John hit his head when he fell or altered because of any alcohol or drugs. If he's confused, we can't clear his spine. He can't have any distracting injuries or pain anywhere else in his body, such as a shoulder dislocation or femur fracture, because that pain may distract him from the pain he's experiencing in his neck right now. He may not realize his neck's injured. You also want to make sure that his sensation and motor is intact in all four extremities, so Matt's going to be checking for that during his brief exam. You want to make sure that there is no midline cervical spine tenderness. So he's going to be palpating John's neck and determining that there's no midline cervical spine tenderness. Now, if he meets all these criteria, we can say with almost 100% certainty that John hasn't suffered any significant injury to his neck. We won't be going over the rest of the assessment during this video. We won't be going over stabilization of the spine. One caveat is that in children, the Nexus criteria have not been entirely validated. There have been some studies looking at children. However, particularly under the age of eight, you need to use your clinical judgment and look at the clinical picture, look at your exam, and you also need to think about the mechanism of injury to determine whether or not you can clear the spine in a pediatric patient. So without further ado, I will let Matt introduce himself to the patient and see if he could clear John's spine clinically using Nexus criteria. Hello, my name's Matt. Hey, I'm John. Hi, John. What happened to you today, sir? I was just snowboarding down that slope over there and just slipped out and got the wind knocked out of me. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to your head and neck for a moment, John, okay? Okay. I wanna make sure you haven't hurt your, your neck in any way. Is it okay if I hold you like this? That's fine. Can I ask you a couple of questions? Sure. Uh, do you know where you are right now? I'm at the ski area. Okay. And do you know what day it is? That's Wednesday. Okay. When you fell, did you hit your head? I don't think so. Did you get knocked out at all? No. Okay, good. Are you hurting anywhere else? No. No? Um, have you had anything alcohol to drink today? Not at all. Uh, any drugs? No. Okay. Are you able to move your toes? Yeah. Move your legs? Yeah. Okay. How about your arms and hands? You can wiggle all your fingers for me? Yeah. Alrighty. A couple quick more questions, okay? Does it hurt where I'm touching you, John? No. Does it hurt here where I'm touching you? No. Does it hurt here where I'm touching you? No. And how about down here? Not at all. Excellent. I want you to keep looking forward for me, okay? Mm -hmm. I want you to squeeze my fingers. Nice. And how about on this side? Good. Kick your leg out against my arm. And how about this side? Excellent. You able to take your gloves off for me, John? Sure. And does it feel normal where I'm touching? Mm-hmm. All that feels normal to you? Yeah. Okay. Last thing I want you to do, John, slowly look to your left for me. Slowly look back to your right. Good. Any pain with those movements? All right, go ahead, look straight up for me, and then tuck your chin to your chest for me. 
Any pain with those movements, John? No. Yeah. Okay.